Ask Bruce Myers how he came up with the shape that would become the Manx and later the Manxster 2 plus 2, and he replies, I never went to a school that teaches how to design cars, so I didn't know enough to be constrained as a car designer would. There's a modesty here that doesn't do justice to the finished product. In person, the Manxster looks terrific. It's cute enough to hug, but it's not feminine. The proportions are nearly perfect, and the sturdy looking cage that forms the upper structure has a graceful line to it. A big difference between the Manx and Manxster are the wheel bases. The Manxsters is the same as a VW Beetle's 94.5 inches, 14.5 more than the Manx. There's room for four seats, we fit nicely into all of them. The basic kit, which continues to be bolted onto a VW Beetle floor pan, costs $5,395. There are 70 parts, but that doesn't include seats, seat belts, powertrain, or floor pan. Beetle bits are fairly cheap, however. If you're thrifty, use the maximum number of Beetle stuff possible, and you can probably have a running Mangster 2 Plus 2 for about $15,000. Assembly time varies with skill level, a novice will spend many evenings in the garage. If cost is not oppressive, it's easy to run up the tap. The Red Mangster we tested is a rolling prototype, and some of its parts have not yet been priced, but Myers estimates the total would be about $35,000. A large chunk of that money $8,800 went to the engine compartment. Bolted to the Beetle transmission is a turbocharged Subaru Flat 4 lifted from an Impreza WRX ski. Some modifications have been made to make it more durable. For example, the intercooler was removed and the boost level lowered to about 5 psi. As such, the engine produces roughly 250 horsepower, 50 less than the standard ski output. In the 1824 pound Mangster, that's plenty. It roars to 60 miles per hour in only 4.2 seconds, which is about as quick as any four-seater you can buy for less than 50 grand. The Mangster's aerodynamics, however, must be appalling, because the acceleration takes a nose dive once you clear 100 miles per hour. That figure arrives in 11.6 seconds, but it takes 20.7 to reach 110. We've driven original Mags and the idea of going 100 miles per hour in one of them is a terrifying prospect. But the Magster is a different animal, and it's clearly more than just a stretched mags. It's stable and quite rigid, due to the web-like overhead steel cage that's bolted to the body in six places. Even wind buffeting isn't too bad. Despite the old hardware, the Magster is nimble yet has a ride as compliant as a Jaguar's. The only limit to handling involves the ancient Beetle suspension. It pulled only 0.85 g on the skid pad despite having large, grippy BF Goodrich tires. A peek at the cornering photo reveals why, the top of the outer front wheel tilts away from the vehicle, so only the outer part of the tread is in contact with the road. That problem can be fixed. We've also ditched the baked Beetle steering. Making modifications is part of the fun of a kit and the aftermarket is filled with VW Beetle parts. Think of the Mangster as a terrific palette, and you have the idea. For kicks, we also took a spin in a silver Mangster Dual Sport. Its tub is 3 inches taller, and it's meant to provide room for a long travel suspension. When he was 76, Myers raced one in the 2002 Baja 1000, although the engine blew after 130 miles. It's still street legal, but it's an animal in the dirt, soaking up ditches and mounds that we thought were going to hurt. Perched on its tall suspension and tires, it looks a little like a water bug, but it was as much fun as we've ever experienced on four wheels. That's the idea behind the Mangster fun. It can do almost anything the builder wants tear up asphalt, clear dirt jumps, or some combination of the two. Maybe it won't create the craze it did 40 years ago, but it's still what Myers always wanted a vehicle that can take you wherever you want to go. Vehicle type, rear engine, rear wheel drive, four passenger, zero door convertible. Estimated price as tested, 
$35,000, estimated base price asterisk, $35,000. Engine type, turbocharged DOHC 16 valve flat 4, aluminum block and heads, port fuel injection. Displacement, 150 cu in, 2457 cubic centimeters. Power, MFRs claim 250 bhp at 6000 rpm. Torque, MFRs claim 240 lbft at 4000 rpm. Transmission, 4 speed manual. Dimensions, wheelbase, 94.5 in length, 162.0 in width, 62.1 in height, 51.2 in curb weight. 1,824 pounds. C slash D test results. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 4.2 SEC. 0 to 100 miles per hour, 11.6 SEC. 0 to 110 miles per hour, 20.7 SEC. Street start, 5 to 60 miles per hour, 4.9 SEC. Standing a 1 fourth mile, 13.1 SEC at 103 miles per hour. Braking, 70 to 0 miles per hour, 188 feet. Road holding, 200 foot via skid pad, 0.85 G.